are your son, Naman? Who is your son, Naman? I can see you're highly elected. Oh, yes. I feel yeah. very, very great to be part of you. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice to join the night with you now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, yes, I am having a reception at my place this evening. I hope uh, you'll be there. Ah, tonight? Yes. So tonight? Yes, that's right. We'll join you. Uh, so how's the family? Oh, they're in the car already. They're waiting for me. Ah. That's why. <laughs> what the Bible said. Let us pray. And Father, as we finally lay down to rest this night, we ask that you shelter us in your warm embrace. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the God of Gods. The Great I Am. Father, we praise your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
خودی بود خوده او بوه بی آزان نمانه کنت دلیبه مسک تنیزا If we had been at the last meeting, your questions would have been answered. I just came to tell you that your time is up. Can I get enough time to put my affairs in order? Don't ask questions we don't have answers. We have done our duty. Okay. You tell the Supreme Commander that I received your message and I'll do everything necessary. All right? you talking to somebody oh no i was just concluding my prayers okay all right i'm going in uh darling um i'll be leaving for lagos tomorrow uh -uh. why why so soon um i just remember that i have some dues to pay up in church that's why i have to go get some money in. okay it's all right Okay. 
I'll be a little bit of a, uh, in a hurry. I'll uh, see you people later. All right? Uh, but, um, <laughs> Hold on, my man. <laughs> I'll see you people later. Huh? You are most welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, It's been quite a long time since we last heard from you. Oh, well, you know, Lagos is a very difficult place. You struggle so hard to get in. Once you do, it becomes another struggle to get out. Oh, you can say that again, Obuifi. <laughs> this one that you come so early, I hope all is well. All is well, Father. It's all right, please well. do come inside. I must have something to do. Uh, please, uh, I actually came in yesterday, went back to Lagos to get something and came back again and I have to finish everything I have to do and go back to Lagos tomorrow. Why are you in such a hurry? Business, Father. Business. The Bible says, a little rest, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands and your poverty begins. Oh, that's right, my brother. You see, that's why I'm glad for those of you in Lagos. You take the word to heart. You live by the tenets of our God. Father, the word of God says, it is the word that you know and do that sets you free. And that is why I have come, Father. I brought this for you. I know I am owing some dues because I have not come down to the village for some time now. There is a sum of 400,000 Naira in there. I believe this will take care of what I am owing and add some substantial amount of money to the new church building fund. Obuifi Ozon Namani. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. May the good Lord continue to bless you and replenish your purse. Amen. This is a, a check of 500,000 now. It is for you. Blessed Mary, Mother of God. See, Father, no, please. It's a, a workman is worthy of his wages, Father. Those who labor in the Lord's vineyard deserve to be rewarded, even more than those of us who labor outside of. Yes, I know, but but the, what will I do with the hundred thousand naira? For heaven's sake, this is too much, Father. This is not up to what you deserve and what I can afford to give. You have been doing a good job in this village. And no matter what happens in the future, I know that you will continue doing that good job. Well, I bought something for you. But please let your anger not burn against you or something. I should have done this before your council of chiefs. But I'm afraid I don't have much time left. Time? 
Time for what? Suffice it to say that pinching from the package what is taking for would not make the content of the package any tastier. <laughs> also, also you are still speaking in riddles, my son. My riddles. Your rap. Um, here. here is a check for 500,000 naira. I have made it out in your name. It is for the community water project. Obuevi Ozon Namani. Ozon Namani. Our people have a saying that the bond owns the whole sky. But as evening comes, they return to their little nest. We thank our forefathers that our own birds remember to return to their nests. What's on the man? May our forefathers and great gods continue to lead you wherever you go to. May they continue to protect, guide, and replenish your stockhouse. Ozo! <laughs> Ozo Namane. I have served this brother with religion for many years. I have done what I to do. I have also fulfilled all my love. And you have reaped the reward. Bound table. Yes. Our vow is never to refuse when Grace and Kiki comes for our soul. You know the consequences if you refuse. You made a choice. All of us made the same choice. A good life, unimaginable wealth, and Awesome power in exchange for our souls. Shankiki, not your family. If you die, that pact is broken. If the wolf must remain, bring a replacement from your family to Shankiki. No, not to bring them now. Please, I want another life for my children. I want them to have a chance to make a choice. <laughs> what choice is there? Who will be also Namani? You could choose to serve another god. But you could even choose to become good and sincere Christians. <laughs> Let that word even come out of your mouth. Will be also a man. Go and put your house in order. That's good. Stop that. Now you go. 
go call me your mommy. Quick! These papers. I want you to withdraw every single amount of money in those accounts. Take them to your church. Keep them to your pastor. Make sure he prays over them. They're for you and the children. Daddy, what is happening? What is the meaning of this? Woman, you do as I say. You have not answered my question. Since you had this accident, things have become different around here. Darling, what is happening? Huh? What is it? Tell me. Honey, honey, you put yourself in my shoes. How would you feel if I wake up one morning and suddenly start behaving strangely? I am your husband, Susan. I have the right in this house concerning my businesses to do what I want to do with my money. Do you hear that? I am your wife! For Christ's sake, I have a right to know what is going on. No one in his right senses wakes up one morning and suddenly wills away all his money while he's still alive. Susan. Darling, please sit down. Please take these documents and do what I say. They are important to me. I will explain everything in due course. No, Wifi. You will explain to me now. You know about this! What is it? What's wrong with him? Um, we don't know yet. But for sure, we'll soon find out. Okay, please. Don't let my husband die. Okay. Madam, we shall do all what we can. Madam, yes. you must rest. Please follow me. Your time is up. Wimpy Ozunamani, get up.
I cannot understand what this is all about. My brother died a rich man and I cannot afford to bury him as a pauper. Now, if money was the problem, why wasn't I contacted? was also part of this. Susan. I will be back to see you. There are certain things we need to sort out concerning your husband's burial. My dear Susan, there are two recipes for success in life. One, never divulge whatever you do to your wife. Two, never confide in a concubine. <laughs> Was a member of a cult. Brotherhood, Susan. Brotherhood. I don't care what you call it. A cult is a cult. I'm a Christian, for Christ's sake. <laughs> to think that I've been believing and thanking God for His mercies. Not knowing that the money I've been spending might have come from the blood of an innocent. We're not demons, Susan. We're not demons. And may I assure you that whatever your husband did, he did it for you and for the children. Or would you have rather liked to leave a pauper? Oh, yes, madam. A pauper for Christ rather than a billionaire for the devil. I still cannot believe what my ears are hearing. To all they've been saying in the village about those of us in Lagos is true. Village. Come on, now let's face facts. What do we do? The women are divided in this matter. So I've been saying that they will never touch a man who was a member of a court. Which woman? Half of them belong to different brotherhoods. I will carry my husband home and bury him. Well, may I remind you, Susan, that. The Brotherhood will take charge of the burial. Mm. Nobody, nobody will touch my husband. I live with him as a Christian and I'm going to bury him as a Christian. Be it your own, in the God forsaken. Perhaps I should explain certain things to you. You see, when your husband became a member of the Brotherhood, his life as a mere mortal was taken from him. And a new life that given to us by our Lord and Master 
the great Shankiki was given to him. Well, that explains the enormous wealth he controlled when he was alive. Well, now that the cause of that life has run out, the Brotherhood will take back what it gave to him. And let me also inform you that the Brotherhood will be the last to set eyes on him before he's committed to Mother Earth. To God who met me, Nado, you are not serious! You are not serious! Well, I wish to let you know that if you try to stop the Brotherhood, the consequences are simply unimaginable. after me. You it will be who will roam the dark places of the earth. You it will be who will carry the burdens of the tormented souls. So until the time will come when you will hand it over and return to Shankiki. You are next Nado you I want my husband to be buried as a Christian. I will not stay alive and watch some devil worshippers bury my husband. The whole thing sounds funny to me. Your husband, the man that I know was a serious minded Christian. 
May God rest his soul. He came home last week. Yes, Father. We were all together. He came to give the church the sum of 400,000 Naira for the new church building fund. Such a man who takes out his time for his God is definitely not a devil worshipper. And God forbid that we shall stand by and watch things go wrong. Thank you, Father. Um, we have placed him in the mortuary at St. Catherine's Hospital. What do I do from here on? Um, just go ahead and continue with your preparations. The church burial committee are making their own arrangements. I can assure you that everything will work out fine. Thank you, Father. Um, one more thing, Father. One of my husband's brother is in the court. He said that the consequences of trying to stop the court from taking over the burial is unimaginable. <laughs> Susan. Yes, Father. There is nothing unimaginable for God to do. We are serving a God of possibilities. A God of the unimaginable. A God who works in mysterious ways. He is the Alpha and the Omega. So you don't need to bother. Just continue with your preparations. Thank you, Father. Come on, I must pray for you at the least. And that is why we have come, Nayelugu. Obuefi Ozon Namani, as much as he was a traditional title holder, was a knight in the church. And as you know, we have set aside a burial place for our knights, and we will want, to, we would like to extend it to him in the church. That is the much we can do for a man who has contributed so much to the growth of the church. I say we allow him to be buried in his compound as a titled man. Our wife, we have heard you. Our people said that though the porcupine have thorns and the snake they have scales, they are all food for the stomach. Your husband, our brother, may have been a serious Christian, but he was an Ozo Obuefi. Oh, yeah. My daughter, your husband took a title. And so, we owe him a duty to bury him as a traditional title holder. But that is not to say we are denying you and your church the right to bury him how you want. After all, he was your husband before anything else. Our daughter, our daughter, what we are saying is that we don't want to do anything that would let loose the anger of the gods on us. Mm -hmm. My father, like you said, a wife in the money was my husband before anything else. I do not object to a traditional burial. What I'm saying is, there isn't enough money. The money my husband left cannot carry a Christian and a traditional burial. 
If we use all the packages, after the burial, after the burial, how do I take care of the children? This woman is a thief. I said it long ago, but no one listened to me. This woman wants to take all the money my brother left behind for herself alone. <laughs> to God, woman. Adele, sit down and shut up. Me shut up, my man, and sit down. Sit, sit down. down and shut up. Now, leave me alone. Adele, leave me. Adele, leave me. Allow me myself. So, where is my man? My dead brother. Was a very rich man. We all know that. He made enough money to support the three different burials. The week he died, he came back to this community and donated five hundred thousand naira for the community water project. Amen. Now tell me, my brothers, tell me, how come all of this family he has no money again? Hmm? You want us to bury our brother like a chicken? No, it is impossible. I don't know, man. At least not while I am alive. My son. Obuefin Namani was my husband. If anybody, if anybody should want him buried well, I should be the one. So what is all this talk about? No money. Tell me. Tell me. Right. It's true that my husband gave me instructions to clear his account just before he died. I I didn't go when I was supposed to. When I finally did, I was told that there were no records of his account in the various banks. Mysteriously, everything vanished in his name. I haven't had time because of the burial arrangement. And the money left is from the children's account meant for their school. Hey! Why again? He got cut off that. Do we also no records, eh? No records, so I forgot. Do you hear? No records. Billions of naira suddenly developed wings, eh? And disappeared into the thing, eh? This woman is a thief. She is not just a thief, but a murderer. In fact, she is the one that killed her brother in order to steal his money. The yes. God who made me. Adele, if you open your mouth one more time, I will smash your head with this walking stick. Adele! Enough of the power cannot be hidden when Hamatan wind is blowing. What is so shocking is that the way frozen Naman is part of them. Uh, my mouth is too wide open at the top of it. I heard what happened in Lagos before they brought his body. That some people who worship the devil went to his house to carry some pots of medicine from his bedroom. Hmm. <laughs> When the wind ruffles the leaves, the little boy thinks it's just the wind. Mm. But the old man knows that the spirit also ruffles the wind. Try. My mouth has been silenced. So, this is the way they make their money. I was thinking of asking Emeka, my son, to join them in Lagos. No, oh, thank God you did not. Thank God. <laughs> hey. The ship says that whatever it is, that the dog saw and started barking. He, the sheep, have long seen it and kept quiet. Ekete, mm -hmm. this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm.
Go on ahead of us. Find out what is happening. Yes, Supreme Commander. not the way to go if his house. Where are we going? I'm taking my husband to the church. You know what, Susan? I think you're looking for trouble. And I will most gladly face it when I find it. Thank you, Nado. Thank you. This load is heavy. Hurry up, let's drop this weapon. It refuses to move. What do you mean it refuses to move? I said it refuses to move. Do you think I enjoy carrying this thing? Jesus Christ, I am stuck. I can't move. Don't be ridiculous. If you're tired, say so. Move, we can't. What is it? What is the problem? Uh, nothing, madam. What do you mean, nothing? Madam, we are stuck. We can't move. To God who made me? What do you mean, stuck? Huh? Is this a joke or something? Do I give them a Father, obviously, Obuefi Ozon Namani does not want to enter your church. Rubbish! To God who read me! <laughs> Nadu! That's nonsense! Nonsense, Nadu! Take him home. We will hold the burial service in his house. Father! Take him home!
Yes, everything is in control, Supreme Commander. I only had to prevent them from taking the body to the church. Oh, good. will not drink water again and hang up in this village. Eh? Ebe, Ebe, where are all these automobiles heading to? Yeah. They understand Ibo and English. When you get there, ask them. It is going to be an interesting day in Osam Mamani's house. <laughs> yeah. Who are they? Do you know them? Okay, hmm? It is not from my mouth you will know whether Polima or Pent. Eh? It is not from my mouth. Let's get there. When we get there, we will find out. You're going to other Naman's house. Yes, yes. Father, I don't think you should go. Why? Because of what happened in front of the church. There is something terribly wrong somewhere. And I think you should allow them to do whatever they want to do with the body. Farmer Bass. We, for fear of the devil, not carry out our responsibility to God. Father, I know, but I... But you what? Now listen. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. Take care of the church. I'll be right back. Father, take care of yourself. Teach me what to do. How do I take care of these children? 
I think you should leave now. Well, Susan, I don't want us to be enemies. All I'm doing now is for your safety and for the good of the children. I do not think you should be here while the last rites of your husband. You say he is worth. He has even handed me the cup. I do not know how much time I have left. But I want you to understand, Susan, that you cannot fight us. Neither can your priest. You do not seem to understand the awesome power at our disposal. My husband knew that he was going to die. Uh, yes, he did. He did. From the moment the cop was handed over to him, you see, we all get to know eventually. What do I do? What do I do? Well, that's how it is. That's how it will always be. Don't worry about the children. I'll take care of you. Until you die, right? I think you have to leave now.
Johnny is a man of the soil. We gave him fuck. We gave him breath. He is to be buried. Like a titled man, he is. Go. Go. Go to that place from where you come from. Divorce. I'm 
judge from this. You hang from the fall of bell. You stand up, set up. Only with my eyes, only with my eyes, shall I see and behold the destruction of the wicked. Your destruction has come. We have nothing in common with you. <laughs> Demon master gave you. We don't have to fight. I don't want to hurt you. You can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. Darkness cannot have my life. Sean Kiki! Buried your dead.
I believe.